Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, I wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about uh, solar charge controllers and specifically uh, the stages that a solar charge controller goes through while it's charging your battery. Uh, there are actually, there's three stages, but there's, there's actually four stages if you consider a stage to be nighttime and just off. Uh, so right now it's, uh, you know, it's almost seven o'clock at night and uh, there is, the sun has gone down. So right now my solar charge controllers are turned off. They're on the off stage, I guess you could say. Um, so if you consider the off stage a stage, um, there's four stages and those four stages will be off and then bulk mode and then uh, after bulk there's absorption and then after absorption mode there is float mode and uh, usually that cycle just goes every day you go from off being nighttime uh, then when the sun rises it goes into bulk mode and bulk mode goes into absorption when your batteries get full and then once your batteries are full for a little bit, then it drops down into float mode. But I didn't understand why, why it would do that in the time frames that it would. So I guess I'm going to try to explain each, each step of the process. At the beginning, first you have off. Uh, that is when there's no sun at all. And so that way your solar charge controller is using... It, it's drawing the least amount of power that it can possibly do and stay on at the same time. Um, when the sun rises, your solar charge controller detects that there's power coming from the solar panels, so it automatically goes into bulk mode. In bulk mode, you are getting the maximum amount of energy from your solar panels as you possibly can. Your solar panels are not limiting the amount of electricity that you're able to produce and usually you'll want to stay in bulk mode for most of the time just because you're utilizing uh, you're utilizing the Sun and you're utilizing your solar panels the most if you get to the point where your battery is getting full then you go from bulk mode into absorption mode so once you go into absorption mode, that means that your batteries are at 100%. And once your batteries are at 100%, um, you want to keep your battery voltage at that level. You don't want it to go any higher because then it starts to hurt your battery. Uh, so you want to keep it at a, at a certain voltage level, uh, but you want it to absorb as much energy at that level as possible to make sure that your batteries are completely topped off. Okay, after absorption mode, your your solar charge controller will go down to the next step, which is float mode. In float mode, your battery is kind of just sitting on standby. Um, and then at the end of the day, the solar charge controllers turn off again. Um, I guess the easiest way that I can think about this, like another analogy, would be when you're taking a shower. First thing you do is you walk up to the shower, the shower's off. So let's just say that's nighttime. Shower's off, you turn on the shower, and you turn on the hot water. Now usually I turn on the hot water all the way. So I think of that as like switching from off to bulk mode because I want as much, I want my water to get as hot as possible um, and so trying to get my water as hot as possible is kind of like bulk mode just trying to get it as hot uh, once once I'm ready to get in the shower though I I, I set it you know I, I, I slowly adjust it down um, and that's kind of what absorption does uh, it you're trying to find that level of where you can where you can take a reasonable shower um, and then once you get in the shower, that's where you want it to be comfortable. So that's kind of like float mode, where you've turned it down enough 
to be comfortable. And that's what float mode does. And you're taking your shower and everything is fine. Uh, but then once you turn, turn that water all off again, then it switches back to off. Okay, well I hope that was a good analogy for what I was trying to explain. Uh, please leave a comment if, uh, if you have a better one or if you're still just kind of confused about what uh, every step of the process is. Thanks a lot for watching this video and uh, y'all take care. Bye-bye.